My name is Richard and this is The Rich Life where I promote a rich lifestyle specifically through what I'm doing, performance fasting focused lifestyle. I'm in a little bit over two months. I'm down almost 60 pounds at this point and it just keeps falling off. I feel like I just have to share it. I'm so excited about it. Yeah, what's up everybody, Rich here. And I keep getting the question recently of what type of water should I be drinking? What do you recommend? And so I decided to make a video about it and share it with all of you. Here's what I recommend. And here's some of the, I've been researching a bunch into it uh, for a while and I've got some thoughts on it that I'd like to share. So. The biggest thing that I recommend is the ER water, the electrolyte rich water. Uh, the, uh, you can watch my video on YouTube, the ER water video where I show exactly what, what minerals and electrolytes to add to your water to stay hydrated while you're fasting. Uh, I, I really think uh, that's the biggest issue is making sure that you do that and that you're drinking that, sipping on that ER water throughout the day. Uh, the uh, potassium and the sodium and the magnesium that you add to your water, that's the biggest thing. So regular water, whatever water you're drinking and are used to, and some of you have already done research into what you're drinking and you're drinking different stuff, whatever you are, I think that's what you should start adding the the electrolytes to and the minerals to from the start. So I like to add them into like, a, I don't like to add them into plastic. Uh, I, uh, I actually, I wish I could get away from all the plastic. I think eventually uh, when I get the money to, I'm going to do that. But so I have this Mason jar that I like to add it to. I mean, uh, just so you know, if, if you take this out and you're drinking it, people will think that you may be drinking alcohol or moonshine or something like that. But uh, so sometimes I'll throw it in a Yeti or whatever while I'm going out, but I'll make a batch of that. So back to the water source, whatever water you're drinking is probably, is you're gonna see great results by just adding in the electrolytes to that and drinking from that. Now, if that's regular city water, it's gonna have lots of chemicals in it. It's gonna have fluoride, all the ides, depending on where you're from. It's going to uh, have chlorine, it's not natural when my friend at work is getting a uh, bottle of water from work and he's filling up his cup of water and he lets it sit for a minimum an hour to let the chlorine dissipate from his water, even though this is a highly filtered water source that we're getting it from, it's not natural. The chemicals, they react differently in everybody. So I, I can't say specifically for everyone, but they will, they'll make you pee extra, which whenever you're peeing extra, you're peeing out electrolytes that you want to keep in your body and hydrating you. So what do I like to drink? I like to go to a natural spring water and I can get these two and a half gallon spring waters very cheap, a lot of different brands from a lot of different places. But my main concern when I'm upping the quality of my water is I just don't want the chemicals in there because I want to stay hydrated while I'm fasting. So I think that natural spring waters are a great option and I will make up my uh, ER water using natural spring water almost all the time. And so you can get it for very cheap. It doesn't cost that much. It won't really hurt your budget. I know a lot of you, if you're, if you're living a fasted lifestyle, you're saving hundreds of dollars a month anyways. And so I think that this is a great investment to stay better hydrated, but also just sticking with the water that your body's already used to is fine as well. I got real excited for a while in researching <clears throat> about alkalinity being the next step up, having natural spring water that's alkaline. So real quick, I do want to mention that if you think about how people used to fast and they used to have a lot better water sources than we do now. They didn't have chemicals all in their water. They would get their water from natural springs, from wells that they had dug. And uh, the uh, water, there wasn't chemicals being sprayed all over their lawns, things like that. 
it was really good water sources that already had minerals and electrolytes in it that we just don't always have access to today. So you start to even want to get better water and alkaline waters. And I got really excited about it because all the stores around me sell lots of different alkaline water options that are natural spring waters as well. And alkalinity does some good things while you're fasting, like for your liver and it'll, it'll take the heat off in your, in your other organs and uh, helping your body to not be acidic while you're fasting, it's good. But I started to test all these brands at the store, uh, their pH levels and their alkalinity, and it was crazy. Their, their pH levels would be very acidic even though they would claim on the bottle that it wouldn't be. And, and so it's like, you almost can't even recommend it because I don't know what you're getting access to around you and these, these companies are able to fake their alkalinity when they're making it. And so really out of all the brands I've tested, which has been over 12, I found two brands that were good alkaline water brands. And it's this pure and pristine imported from earth, uh, which is sourced from the Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. This one, it's, they've got a really unique bottle. This is the best I've found. Also Evian water is a, I know it's a national brand and that's pretty good too. And it says it's natural spring water, which is what I'm more concerned with than alkalinity, but they are alkaline, but they're also, they're expensive. I'll buy them when they're on sale. I mean, sometimes at the store, they'll go on a big sale. I'll buy them and use them uh, for my fasting or to have a water bottle to take out while I'm, I'm going out and about where I just throw some electrolytes in and drink it right away. And they're a great option for that, but the main thing that I'm drinking is just natural spring water. If I had access to a well, a well water that I would get tested and make sure that it's good and doesn't have chemicals in it, I would be drinking that. If I had a natural mountain spring near me that, I, that some of you have access to, uh, I would go fill up with that, a bunch of water, and that's what I would be drinking optimally. But my point is not to get everybody on a crazy water budget spending 50 to 100 bucks a month on on crazy special waters that's that's not the point of this i think that you will see amazing results with whatever water you're drinking right now even if it's straight from the faucet as long as you are re mineralizing the water making it electrolyte rich er water so I hope that helps some of you in making your water choices for your fasting and it's probably something you'll stick with when you're not fasting too as well to make sure that you are keeping your electrolytes good because I think some of the hunger and cravings that people experience, it's really it's because they're not getting the electrolytes and the minerals that they need. I just posted on the Fasted Life Facebook group kind of a thing showing that I got from a friend of when you're having these cravings, what it is your body, what mineral your body really is wanting. And a lot of that is minerals that are in the ER water anyways. And so that'll help with your cravings as well. So, all right, with all that being said, I hope that helps you out. Everybody have a blessed day and stay fasted.